Welcome to Craft School and our handcrafted holiday series. One of my creative processes is to take one of my favorite craft materials and invent something new and different. So I'm going to show you how to use the tin pack floristic crepe paper to make these gorgeous amaryllis bottle wraps. To make these wine bottle covers, you'll need the crepe paper, the pattern, which you can print with the link below, a piece of ribbon, some scissors, some optional pinking shears, and a hot glue gun with low temperature glue. So for this wine bottle, it's a white wine, and I'm going to make a white amaryllis, a green leaf with a gold center, and then wrap the bottle itself with this teal green. So I'm gonna cut out the pattern loosely. I don't need to cut out the details of the pattern, but just cut them apart. And for the petals, I'm going to need two of this particular shape and I can cut them both at the same time. So I'll cut the width of the first one. I kind of measured it there, eyeballed it, and then repeat it for the second. Stack them evenly with the pattern on top and then very carefully cut all three layers at once. I'll cut two leaves out of the mid green and then I just need one of these and I'll cut that out of the gold. So the easiest way to cut the center piece is just cut the width and then go ahead and cut down each line and you'll have two on both sides. Then I'm gonna remove the pattern and cut the corners off of each of these small pieces to round them off. The last piece that you're going to need to cut is to wrap the bottle. And I just have the measurements and it says 10 inches by nine. And 10 inches is actually top to bottom with the grain going this direction. And nine inches should get you all the way around the bottle. You can actually eyeball that. You don't need to actually measure it out. Or you can use the bottle as the measurement. So you can use a pinking shear scissor to cut down the edge or just a regular scissor. Either way, the pinking shear will give it a little extra texture. So I've measured it out with my fingers and I'll just cut it right down the line. And to add just a little bit of extra detail, I want to cut one of the ends with the pinking shears as well and that will be at the top of my bottle. I'll start with the center piece. And with my finger holding the center, I'll use my other hand to just twist. And I'll twist all the way to the top until I have almost a circle at the tip of each of these strips. Now I'll fold this in half and I'll put the printed on the outside and just give it a bit of a crunch or a roll so that it all comes together. I'm going to roll it, put some hot glue onto the bottom, and then press that right on top of my bottle and let it cool. For the petals, I'll take the first piece and fold it over so the ends just barely overlap each other. And you'll see that the cut of each petal comes to this point, and that's where you're going to start the glue because you'll want all the petals to be the same length. Run a bead of glue right down the edge and close that off and let it cool. So you'll notice that I've cut all of my petals with the grain going towards the point and that's really important that you do that. This actually fits exactly the 10 inch paper so it's really easy to cut. If you use a larger piece, just remember to keep your grain going the right direction. I'll do the same thing with my second petal and then slide one right into the other. Then open up the bottom and put that onto your bottle. Now at this point, you want it to come and fit snugly right when the curve starts to become straight. And you can also rearrange and adjust because you want the petals to fall right in between each other so that you can see all six lined up evenly. Now we're going to take our large piece. I'm going to find the seam here. Here's the seam. I'll put the seam in the back. Take my large piece 
and wrap it all the way around. You can see, overlap the side that has the pinking shear because you want that to be on the outside. Run a bead of glue down the whole thing. And then hold that until it cools. Now we're gonna need the ribbon. And we'll tie this around the neck. And you'll want to tie it fairly snug. I'll see if I can turn it so you can see it. So to tie a bow that's nice and straight, you'll start with this bottom strand. This one goes up, this one goes down. Make a loop. And then with your top, fold this over and wrap it over the top. Now I have my fingers holding the ribbon back here. You take your ribbon, I've twisted it so I get my print coming out the back side. And I'm going to tuck it right behind this front loop. And then pull it tight. And that way the bow will sit straight. Otherwise, if you do it the other way, it'll be crooked and doesn't look quite as nice. So I'm pulling the ends to make everything straight. And once I have, you know, the bow um, loops the same size, you'll notice this is white where this has the print. So all I do is take that and twist it back around so that you can see the print again. And I'm going to put a link underneath this video for another video where I show you exactly how to do this step by step. Now I'm going to take my scissors and fold these and trim the ends. Okay, now let's make the flower bloom. I'm going to just take one petal at a time and peel it back. Since they're all crunched together, they, they get a little bit tangled, so this is the fun. Try to do the three outside petals first, and then the three inside petals. And once you have them peeled back, Go back around and give them a stretch right in the center, and this will help keep the petals curving outwards. And we have our two leaves. I'm going to give it just a little bit of stretch in the center here to give it a curve so it has a more natural look. And then simply slide one leaf right here in the front. And I'll place the back leaf at an angle going the other direction. Have it stick up a little bit higher so you can still see it. And I'm angling it this direction where the first one is this so it has a little bit of movement. And there you have not only a bottle of wine, but a flower for your hostess gift. So one thing to remember is this is just a sleeve and you don't want somebody grabbing it and the wine bottle falling out. You might want to actually add a piece of tape to the bottom or even a dab of glue unless you're going to hand it to the hostess just like this. So when you have finished your wine bottle projects, whether it be this flower or something you've created, remember to share it with us and hashtag Create Paper Revival because we love to see your projects.